Today is Thursday, Parashat Matot Mas'e, and we're learning the Musa from Chok Israel. Today's Musa is actually a continuation of what we spoke about yesterday. Ragzan lo ala be'ado ki im ragzen uto. A person who's hot tempers, he gains nothing except for his anger. That's the only thing that he gains from his anger. And not just that, legorem, and it causes mipivdvarim sheloch haogen. It causes him to say improper things. Av mala, even chaz shalom against God, because when a person is angry, he doesn't realize what he's saying. Most of the time, after he comes down, he regrets what he said. So a person who's hot-tempered, who gets angry, there's nothing to gain from it. On the opposite, he's got a lot to lose. He might say things that he would regret, improper things even. Chaz shalom against Hashem. Ba'azivat akas, but abandoning anger, controlling his, his temper, can lead him to enter the path of humility. Go and learn from Hillel that there was never anyone as humble as he was. And his humility. His humility, his tolerance, his patience enabled him to bring three converts under the wings of the Divine Presence. There are stories in the Gemara how he was so tolerant and humble that he, through that humility he brought up these three people to convert and also other stories in the Gemara. So nobody could get him so anger and angry and upset. There was even a Gemara story about somebody who made a bet that he would be able to get Hillel to be angry. And uh, he would wait until Hillel was getting ready for Shabbat and he would call out his name and ask him all these uh, silly questions and again and again and again. And every time that he tried, Hillel would never get angry. So this is uh, the aspect of humility, tolerance, patience. That was the qualities of Hillel. Ve'al yatil adam ema yetera betoch beto. And a person should not cast excessive fear upon his household. Sometimes a parent could want to instill discipline in his house, and through that strict discipline, he casts excessive fear amongst the people of his household, and that could lead to things that are actually uh, a problem. Like he explains here in the Mus- in the Musa, Ben Yachilu Avadab Davar Asur. Maybe his, uh, his uh, house help will give him something to eat that is not kosher. Or certain things like that because of they're afraid from him. Like for instance, food is not ready on time. And the uh, master of the house hold came home and now they're so afraid of him that they might go and buy anything just to feed him even though something that he would not eat typically like something that is not kosher. And uh, and this guy will not know, will not be aware that this is what happened. And then it brings other the Musar, anybody who casts excessive fear in his household, sof, eventually, balide, shalosh averot. He eventually will come to three sins. Gilu arayot, Hilul Shabbat, Ushfichud Damid. And he might bring the person to have three sins of Gilu Arayot, forbidden relations, Hilul Shabbat, to uh, desecration of Shabbat, and bloodshed. And he explains, Tishamesh Ishtoni Damir Ato. His wife could be with him even at a time that she shouldn't, and when she's Nida, because she's afraid of him. She might cook for him on Shabbat because uh, maybe she forgot to plug in the uh, hot plate. And if he comes from Shul and he's going to be so upset, she's going to be so afraid of him that she might plug it in even after Shabbat started. 
או another example, היה רגיל בנר בחדר משכבו להדליק אותה שם מבעוד יום, ושכחה לסומה, he was accustomed to having a candle in his room and she forgot to, to, to light it, and Shabbat is already started, she might do it מפני אימתו because of fear from him. Or also, תברח אשתו אחד מבניו בלילה בחשיכה, or his wife or his children might run away when it's dark, because they're afraid for whatever situation there was, and they might fall into, in, into some kind of a hole in the ground, and they might get injured. So it could be also a type of bloodshed. So in general, it says that a person in his household should not cast excessive fear, as maybe he's trying to, to sort of like have discipline though, but there's a way to do it with humility and with tolerance and in a way that is not excessive. And um, the beginning of the Musar was again, the idea of to be very careful not to be a hot tempered person and to be able to control his anger and start on the path of humility. Baruch Adonai Le'olam, Amen ve'amen.